Good afternoon. Good afternoon to my class and anyone else who's joining us today. I'm here with Cal. I'm still in my pajamas. I'm still sitting in a chair that's way too small for me. And today I thought it would be fun to learn about the butterfly life cycle. I found this book that I'm pretty excited about. It's called A Caterpillar's Wish. And guess who it was written by? It was written and illustrated, which means they draw the pictures, we know that, by a first grade class. First graders of Alexander Shepherd School in Washington, DC. It's pretty cool, huh? Just goes to show you, you can become an author, even in first grade. All right, let's get started. One spring day, Chad Caterpillar was chewing his favorite kind of leaves. Janet Ladybug flew by Chad. Chad wished he could fly like Janet Ladybug. Chad Caterpillar said hello to Janet Ladybug and asked her to eat lunch with him. Janet joined him for lunch. Chad ate leaves and Janet ate little white bugs. They had a wonderful time. Chad told Janet that he wished he could fly just like her. He asked Janet to tell him how to fly. Janet told Chad that he needed wings in order to fly. Let's take a break for a second. My class has been learning about point of view. First person, second person, third person. And I'm wondering if they heard any pronouns that would tell us if this is written in first person or third person. Do you guys remember the pronouns? He, she, they, what is it? Third person. That means that someone else is telling the story about the characters. Now we know what point of view it's told from. Chad did not have any wings and this made him very sad. He began to cry and eat more leaves. Seems like Chad does what a lot of us do when we're sad and we eat a lot of things. That's what I do. All of a sudden, Janet saw something happening to Chad. He seemed to be changing. Mm. Janet could not believe her eyes. She asked Chad what was happening because he looked very strange. Chad said that he did not know what was happening to him, but he did know that he was feeling a little different. Soon, Chad disappeared into a big green shape. Janet called to Chad, but he did not answer. He was gone. Janet felt very sad and lonely. She began to cry. Many days went by. Then one day, the big green shapes started to crack. Janet Ladybug stopped eating the little white bugs so that she could watch the big green shape. What do you think is happening? Want to make a prediction? I predict. What do you predict? Go ahead and tell your parents or your siblings or teach your shoe. Let's see if you were right. Janet was very surprised to see a big butterfly pop out of the big green shape. Janet asked the butterfly what had happened to Chad the caterpillar. The butterfly said that he, he was Chad the caterpillar, all grown up. Now Chad had wings and could fly just like his friend Janet. Chad's wish had come true. He was very happy. Janet was happy too because her best friend was back. The happy butterfly and ladybug flew off together and lived happily ever after. The end. What do you think? You think the first graders did a good job? Oh, here's a picture of them. Look, all those kids wrote this book. That's pretty cool. I hope you guys are thinking of some books that you could be writing. But let's come over here to my movable magic wall. Dun, dun, dun. Pretty cool, huh? We just built this. It is dry erase, but once again, I don't have my dry erase markers. 
So look what I have here. This is the butterfly life cycle. Can you see it? There we go. So first we have an egg. That's where it starts. Just a little egg. The grown up female butterfly lays a lot of eggs and she lays them on the leaves because when the eggs hatch and they become a caterpillar, they eat the leaf that they're sitting on. We also call it larva, but you can call it a caterpillar since that's what you know, know it as. So the egg hatches and becomes a little caterpillar and then it eats and it eats and it eats and it eats. It eats a whole lot, even more than you guys eat. It eats and eats and eats and it grows bigger and bigger and bigger. Then it starts to molt, which means it sheds its skin. Ooh. Then it comes down and becomes a pupa. Can you say pupa? It's a weird word. Also known as a chrysalis, but I think pupa is probably easier to say. Um, this is encased in a hard shell. It hangs upside down. What other animal do we know that hangs upside down that we've learned about recently? Yes, a bat. My first grade class learned a lot about bats this year. So it hangs upside down. And inside, while it's in its pupa, it's starting to grow wings and legs and all the things that a caterpillar doesn't have. It's undergoing the transformation. And then, just like Chad, just like Chad the caterpillar, went into his pupa, and then he came out as an adult butterfly, a grown-up butterfly. There he is. Then you know what that butterfly does? It lays some eggs and it starts all over again and it makes new adult butterflies, new larva, pupa, and butterflies over and over again. And that's what we call the life cycle. Can you say life cycle? I'm gonna pretend I heard you say it, life cycle. Good job guys. Now I think we need a little break. I think you've been sitting there a long time. In my class, we like to get up and move when we've been sitting down for a long time. We like to be a little silly. Cal, you wanna be silly with us? Okay, come on, stand up. Stand up, guys, let's go. Okay, shake it out, shake it out. Come on, Cal. shake it out, shake it out. Come on, come on, shake it out. We're gonna shake it out, everybody, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. <gasps> Good, reach this way, Woo. reach this way. Yeah, reach all the way up. And roll down, touch your toes. Oh, even Cal wants to touch his toes. Good job. Look to the right, look to the left, look up, look down, look all around. Good job. Run in place, 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 freeze. Cal, we're supposed to freeze. Run in place, run in place, run in place, run in place, freeze. Stand on one leg. Hop on the other foot. One spin, one jump. Take a deep breath. And blow it out. One more deep breath and blow it out. All right, now we got our wiggles out. We're going to learn how to draw a butterfly. These instructions are much better than yesterday's hedgehog, so I'm a little excited about it. All right, are you ready? Go ahead, get a piece of paper. And some pencil, you need a pencil. And you're probably gonna want some crayons or markers or color pencils so you can make your butterfly beautiful. You ready? You got it? All right, what color should I start with? What do you think, Cal? What color should I start with, huh? What do you think? Maybe, let's do blue. That's my favorite color. All right, step one. What are we drawing? What are we drawing, Cal? Okay, we're drawing the head. Easy enough. Go ahead. We're just gonna draw a little circle for the head. That is not even a circle. Look at that. That's okay. If my students were here, they would say, that's okay, you're still cool. Because that's what we say when someone messes up. That's okay, you're still cool. My caterpillar is gonna be a little droopy faced. That's okay. Okay, you got step one, you got your head. Step two, the body. Looks like we start right here and we're gonna go 
I'm just gonna do like an oval. <laughs> All right, step two, you got your oval. I don't know if this is looking like a caterpillar, but we're gonna figure it out. Step three, the wings. All right, we got one wing here, one wing there, let's see. Oh, it looks like the wing comes out of their head. Okay, pay attention to that. Cause there's gonna be some more wings. These ones come from their head to the middle of their body. Yeah, here we go, let's try. <laughs> I'm sure they're supposed to be even, but you know what? I'm drawing a goofy caterpillar. Not because I mean to, just because that's the level of art skills that I have. Okay, look at this. He's, he's a little lopsided and that's okay because we're all different and we're all amazing, okay? We all have something to offer. Maybe he likes to spin in a circle or something because he's got one big wing. He's like the Nemo of butterflies. <gasps> just keep flying, just keep flying. All right, we're good, I'm on it. Here we go, step four. We got two more wings. <laughs> Let's see if I can make them a little more even, no promises. Nope, not anymore even. All right, there we go. You got four wings. I am sure your guys' butterflies look better than mine right now. I'm not even sweating it. I'm just gonna keep going. Ooh, now we get to draw a face. Okay, so we got two little eyes with his eyeballs. Looks like he's looking to the side. Looks like he's looking at me. And he's like, why are you drawing me so terribly? And I'm like, I'm sorry, I have no art skills. Okay, ready? Two little eyes. We gotta draw the, the pupils, not the pupa. Not to be confused with the pupa, the pupils. Here we go. Oh geez. Oh geez. <laughs> Where's he looking? I don't know. Okay, and then let's see, we need some antennas. Boop. Boop. <laughs> you got your antenna? Two little swirlies from the head, and then we got the mouth. We're drawing a happy cat, a happy butterfly, although I, I don't know if mine looks happy. I think it looks like it might have gotten hit on the head or something. That's okay, that's all right. All right, do you have your head, your body, your wings, your antennas, and your face? That's where we're at right now. Let's draw. Let's finish out the details. Looks like he has one, two, three stripes on his body. Ready? One, two, three. You got that? All right. He's got two circles on his lower wings. Circle, circle. And he's got two bigger circles on the upper wings. With little circles inside. Circle, circle, is that everything? I think that is, <laughs> whatever. I think my caterpillar is pretty awesome. Chad the caterpillar, should we name him Chad? We'll make him Chad. Who remembers what says cha, 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 like a choo-choo? That's our diagraph of the day, ch, C, H. Capital C, it's his name, C, H ch A D A D Chad. There's Chad. I'm sorry, Chad. I wanted to draw you better, but I don't have very many art skills, okay? And now you can color them in however you want. This is your caterpillar. You can make it look whatever you want. How are you gonna make it? I'm gonna put some pink in there. I'm gonna put some pink in his little circles. I'm gonna try and track from his face because uh his face is a little messed up. That's okay, you're still cool. My kids say that to me all the time and I love it. All right, I'm gonna color these in true, why not, why not? What color are you making your butterfly? All right, what else? What color should we make his body? Maybe orange? Rough angle to draw at. 
All right. There we go. <laughs> I don't think the coloring is making it all that much better. Let's do purple wings. Purple? I'm going to do purple wings. Remember, you can make them whatever you want because this is your butterfly. Oh, we're coloring. Let's go over the life cycle. First, we have the egg that turns into the larva. Then we have the pupa that turns into the butterfly. First, we have the egg that turns into the larva. Then we have the pupa that turns into the butterfly. I like it. I just made that up. I just made that up. I like it. Purple. I'm going to go all out here. I'm going to make Chad the craziest, most colorful butterfly you ever did see. We're going red. There we go. All right. Let's see. I don't have a lot of colors left. Green. Let's go green. So, while we're coloring, I have made a YouTube channel for these. Bold and Bright Academy is your YouTube channel. I'm going to try and make these as often as I can. If there are books that you would like me to read, leave a comment and I will try and find them. Or if there are things that you want to learn how to draw, leave a comment and I'll try and attempt to draw it with you. <laughs> um, but subscribe and like and we'll try and keep this thing going. Almost done with Chad. Right, voila, we've made a butterfly, we've read a book about Chad the caterpillar, and we've learned about the butterfly life cycle. Hope you guys have a great day. Until next time, bye.